Miriam, this is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. And this is just something you saw in your head and you wanted to put in salt. I just wanted to try it. And I poured salt on the table and that was it. We give out certain things, making sure that our veterans, um, you know, are being cared for and that, you know, we're giving an acknowledgement to our veterans. So that's one thing I'm passionate about is our veterans. It is an opportunity to honor those who've made the ultimate sacrifice, the men and women that have served in the U.S. Armed Forces that, you know, either died in battle or, you know, died with some wounds that they had gotten in battle. As you can see, when it comes to supporting our veterans and fallen heroes, Delmarva is not shy about honoring, remembering, and supporting them. Of course, the final Monday in May is Memorial Day, a day that we set aside to mourn those military personnel that we have lost. Yeah, and it is important to emphasize that while Memorial Day is a great time to get outside, spend time with family and friends, and maybe fire up the grill, the true spirit of the holiday isn't forgotten, and we pay our respects to those who have served. And we are here with Jeff Merritt, the founder of Operation We Care. Jeff, always good to see you. Hey, how are you? <laughs> great, Better great. Now. Yeah. yeah, welcome. So for those who may not be familiar with what you do, tell us about Operation We Care and how it got started. So we got started in 2007. Uh, we wanted to send care packages to the Salisbury National Guard and Easton National Guard who were deployed to Iraq at that time uh, for Christmas. And it started as a what we thought was a one-time project, but we are in uh, year 17 now. So um, <laughs> here we are. Yeah. Uh, but we do support the uh, military through care packages and various other things of support and law enforcement agencies and the fire departments. And we don't forget our healthcare heroes over at Tidal Health. You take care of all the important people right up front. Well, we just want to recognize their, their service to our country and our community. You are so. a gentleman. So 17 years, how, how are things going lately? Uh, we're, we're going pretty well, actually. We've survived a recession, a pandemic, <laughs> um, and we're still going. Uh, we uh, just packed almost 600 boxes this past Sunday. So what are the things that you put in the boxes? Junk food <laughs> and, and some health care supplies. Mm -hmm body wash, deodorant, toothpaste, stuff like that. Uh, Girl Scout cookies, um, Fisher's popcorn. But yeah, it's just things that they might not be able to readily get where they are. And it, it's just a, an important message from home that they might be six, 8,000 miles away, but we haven't forgotten them. Nice. So let me ask you this. I mean, you, you were right in the middle of it doing it. So what is your impression? Do you feel like Delmarva really is supportive and, and honoring our troops? Absolutely. Why? Um, it, it's amazing to me the, the amount of emails, phone calls that we get, the letters, what can I do to help? How can I help? Whether it's time, money, uh, supplies, or any combination of those three, uh, people want to get involved. Wow. And uh, th this is such a generous uh, community uh, in, in so many ways that, and, and we're very fortunate because we wouldn't be able to do what we do without the community doing what they do. So um, it's definitely a great partnership. Uh, we've got partnerships and relationships all across this country. We have people uh, from other states contacting us wanting to, how do you do what you do? Because we oh. want to do it here. Oh, So we, we kind of do that uh, remote, guidance and, and helping other people get set up, whether it's a VFW or American Legion post that wants to pack care packages, they see us on the internet and they contact us and say, what do you guys do and how do you do it? And we just have that dialogue back and forth. Nice. So do you have any packing events coming up? Uh, November is the next big one, mm -hmm. but even though we just had our, our big one uh, this past weekend, uh, if somebody were to give me an address today, they would not wait till November. To, to get a box. I, w we will figure out a way to get boxes packed in between our major events in May and November. Yeah. So. Operation We Care, Jeff Merritt, founder of the organization. Thank you. Well, thank you. Good to see you again. Mm -hmm. All right, good to see you.